All right, folks, this one comes to us from our Fundamentals of Compositing series. This is Volume 2, How to Do a Movie Poster. So if you like this one and you want more, check out 7thSeasonStudios.com for the complete course. And if you're interested in getting all of our content at one low monthly price, check out the link below for our YouTube family. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, folks, welcome back. So my apologies to people who send me this kind of work. I don't have all of the fonts you do. So my comments on fonts is going to be probably because I don't have the same font you do. As an example, if I go ahead and click here, all right, and I go over to the font tab, let's say, it's going to say Urban Jungle, right? So I don't have Urban Jungle. So my comments on fonts is just going to be because my system defaults to a similar font that they think is right. So my comments on fonts will not be about the font choice. It will be about the color and some of the effects. Now, when I look at this, we've got a lot of this debris, a lot of this smoke, a lot of stuff. When I come into here and I grab your title here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a font that kind of works through. I'm going to go with a rough, let's say. All right. And let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit and see what we got. I can do better here. Maybe I like that. Maybe I don't. Let's try something a little rougher. There we go. All right. That's a good one. And I know you guys at home, you won't have this font. My point here when it comes to composites, find the font that changes how you feel about the piece, right? Okay. So I really wanted to do this down here because up here we've got some darks from the vignette and such. So I really think that this is probably the right place for it. And I don't want to obscure the face. All right. Now on the fallout, let's go ahead and come over here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick just any old font. I get a lot of fonts from 1001freefonts.com, from Font Squirrel, from Da Font, right? There's a lot of different font sites. I like this one, but I don't like it in the white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and make it black. Just because you see how much it pops. Now, I know that the red is not quite going to work. But the red, when combined with what's reflecting on her shirt, actually makes sense. So with respect to the artist, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep that. I'm going to change the style of this pandemic, though. So this is not gloss and bloom. I don't have that font. So we're going to pick another one. All right. Let's find one that's post-apocalyptic crazy here. There's a lot of them. I like that one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the same font that we did for the, or I should say the same color. So I'm just going to go with a colored font and I'm going to make this black. And now here's the trick. I'm going to come over to here and with this fallout, let's find the fallout. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, let's go to styles. I'm going to create a new category. Let's add a styles category. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add style from selection. That's going to give me the same style. Now when I come over here to my pandemic, I can pop that in. Oh, I didn't went with the font. I actually don't hate that. Okay, cool. Now, the last thing that I got here for font text and such is this mess down here. And I say this mess, this white area. And the reason it's a mess is because this is white, this is white. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a layer. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a pixel layer. I'm gonna drag it down. I'm going to say even inside the vignette. 
And I'm going to just pop this thing in just like that. Okay, now on the base, gonna be black, just like that. On the top can be white, that's fine. And what I'm going to do with the white, I'm gonna drop it down to zero opacity. There we go. And then I'm going to adjust it until I get what I want from it. There we go, yeah. All right, let's bring that in. The box is a little bit too unwieldy there. All right. That looks pretty good. So I think that I'm pretty good with the title. Pretty happy with the badges. Pretty happy with this tagline here. All right. All right, the only thing that I might do, I think we're losing a little bit of the background. So I'm gonna come down to the pandemic fallout and I'm gonna shrink that title ever so slightly just to get a better look. All right, so from the fundamentals of compositing, you want to balance your composition. You see you've got one here, one here, and then I haven't obscured the main area here. I've got my title balanced and I've got enough dark space at the bottom to go ahead and put my font inside of there. All right, folks. So I think that I'm overall pretty happy with this. The last thing that I might try, let's go ahead and add a layer. Let's go ahead and bring in a lighting layer. And I might add just a little bit of an ambient light color to that, just a little. All right, let's push a little here. All right, let's see how that looks. I don't know that I like the light at all, off entirely. Mm, let's do one more thing here. Let's try it as a point light. Yeah, okay, I kind of like it as a point light there. I think that I'm quite happy with that. Okay, let's go ahead and change that. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, subtle shift. Let's go ahead and bring this in. I want to add in a effect. Let's go ahead and add in an outer shadow. Offset it. And I want to shrink down this ground smoke even a little bit further on this side. So let's go ahead and drop the flow. 
It's a little bit too powerful on this side in retrospect. All right. Little things, I could keep going, but I think that we're pretty well set. Overall, I'm very happy with this. So what we did is, let me go ahead and open up the original. The original versus the modified. And on behalf of Seven Season Studios, thank you so much for taking the journey. If you're interested in any of the smoke brushes, tools, or some of our other classes, Check us out at 7seasonstudios.com for all your classes and 7 Season Supplies for all of your digital tools here at Affinity. All right, folks, have a good one.